Alexa, play the original tequila song. Alexa, turn the volume up by five. Alexa, turn the volume down by three. Alexa, play the song again. I'll repeat the song. Hi, this is John Birmingham. Of course, God gets all the glory, not, not some man, John Birmingham. <sighs> praise God, praise Jesus. Believe in God and Jesus and you'll be saved. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna be working out a little bit and just some light workout. Some, some muscle after I had to rest my body needed to rest for a few days and I was working this, thinking about this deal about my dad calls it a deal it's real estate stuff he does and my mom going through various things that looks kind of strong so um, before that I had done these huge muscle workouts for like two days or three days and your body needs a rest for a few days after that. So in that time, I happened to get a bunch of carbs on the off day. And I didn't know if my body needed it or not or what, but I happened to read that there's this huge bodybuilder who's like a teenager. And he's like really, he, he looks like as strong as Arnold Schwarzenegger, but he looks kind of normal to dress as normal. And he said in a video, this was like this cool new thing that he learned was that your body needs carbs. <laughs> your body needs carbs. You can't just be on a high protein, low carb diet all the time with, you know, plenty of water, fruits and vegetables, protein and fats. You can't just always be on that keto diet. He found that his muscles looked way stronger because of the glycogen. He said the glycogen in your muscles, but, um, when you go without carbs, you can you can reduce the fat in your body way more. Like uh, there's this other guy, Thomas DeLauer, who has like no, almost no body fat. He has like three percent body fat and has a huge amount of muscle. But I think he did one cycle of steroids one time, and the other did, guy did steroids. I've never done steroids. You know, this is just from hard work. 
working out however I happen to look and how God made me. So um, I learned those two things and then I was feeling a little better. So I did, uh, I did some workouts again with the weights. I used the lighter ones, only the 45 pound ones. And I worked out with weights since the 90s when I was in high school. I did a little bench press back then, that was all I did. It was so hard to do. I did, I did, I did uh, about three sets when I would work out. I'd work out every other day. I, I learned that you need a day of rest after working out in a muscle group. I guess just learning about what your body can do with, with strength training and stuff. And um, I didn't know you had to do all three muscle groups, back and biceps chest and tries, chest and triceps, and legs. So I didn't understand that, so I just did bench press, but I looked really good. I looked good for some reason, I was a teenager. I wasn't as strong as I am now, but it, it, it was pretty good. And they thought I had strong forearms back then. And they thought I was like cool. I was like one of the good looking, cool people. By my senior year in high school, I was like kind of cool, I'd walk around the halls and like look down and act like I was cool and like look up and they thought I was like <laughs> good looking or something. And um, I'm an idiot, I'm stupid, okay. But God gets all the glory, not some man who thinks he's cool. So I'm gonna go praise God, praise Jesus, bye. Oh, I love you Rowan, I love you Ivan, I love you Ayla. I love you, Rowan, Ivan, Ayla, Mama. I love Mama. And I love God and Jesus the most. God's our Heavenly Father. We're supposed to love God the most. We can learn more about God. He's really mysterious and different than we may have thought. And good, way more good and beautiful than we can imagine. And exactly like the Bible tells us he is. Very real and straightforward. Not just mysterious. You know, the devil in bad ways could be mysterious. But in a very real, good way how he literally is, is kind and good, kindness to others, very kind, uh, he gives instead of takes, um, he created everything, the most beautiful, original, good one of all time, is God, our Heavenly Father, not the lowercase God, meaning the false God of the earth, who is the devil, who's bad, he did everything bad that causes us to suffer and feel bad, and all the bad, crappy stuff is not that good, but God is way more beautiful and good than, than anyone on earth. So it'll always be okay. In Jesus' name, amen. Believe in God with all you have, your body and soul. And you'll make it through the stuff that God wants us to go through or the things that God wants us to do. And God has 100% control of, of everything. And then you'll wake up one day well-rested and be like, this is difficult. It feels like I'm arrested for just trying to rest. And it'll feel so difficult and you'll think, why does God have me doing this? It's just because of the devil who made it difficult and not like heaven was originally in Eden if that was heaven or heaven was somewhere else. Eden was like heaven and paradise, it was, but um, the devil messed it up. The devil messed it up. Paradise was only temporary in Eden and it got taken away and turned into um, a sinful place. It's kind of good, but God's always in control, and it'll always be okay, and we'll make it to heaven one day. So keep believing in God and Jesus, and everything will be okay. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye. Ha ha ha!